Okay, so how do we check the part, the answers to part 1C? Well, if we go to the website that is uh, listed in the lab manual, you'll see this. And what you can do here, this is kind of a pain, but it, you'll see what I mean by pain. Let's say, for example, that you figure out that your A vector, you're going to have to figure out your X and Y components of your A vector, and you figure out that it's Oh, 154.49, just like I've got it right there. You click on that. You just click there when you get there. Do a left click. Now you see... Did I do that? Oh, let's try that again. Okay. Now, yeah, I did it now. Now let's say we figure out that the B vector, and it's kind of hard to see with the green, but trust me it's there, is right there, and it's minus 59.63. So we click there. Now what happens is, you see that? It's drawing it for you. Okay? And it tells you what the resultant vector when you add them is. And it's going to be 96, 136. Pretty cool. You can check all your work that way, and I strongly encourage you to do so. And the people who get things wrong on this part usually get them wrong because they didn't check it. And there's sign errors or something like that. So. First of all, remember on part 1C, those are not the X and Y values the a in, print in the, the first column, like A. 130, 28 is 130 magnitude and an angle of 28, not 130 for X and 28 for Y. Don't make that mistake. All right, so, um, yeah, and I think this is pretty easy. I think you guys can handle, you can handle this without any trouble. So. Let me know. Thanks. Bye.